Hello, students. Welcome back to this new academic year. Government of Telangana, Department of School Education, welcomes you to digital classes. Hope you all are fine. Our respectable DEO sir and English fraternity welcomes you and invites you once again to start your new classes and new syllabus. Hope you all are fine children. And coming to the topics for the classes six to seven, figures of speech. Have you heard of it ever before? Okay, those who have never heard, once again, you revise it. To score good GPA in each subject, you need to answer every question correctly. So figures of speech are covered in prose and poetry by poets and authors and authors in your reading A, B and C from your textbook syllabus. You get certain questions related to figures of speech taken from comprehension passages in the form of multiple choice questions. Okay, here we go with figures of speech. They are nothing but when we speak normally, we turn away from the normal words of words and phrases that add beauty to the language and which increases some extra illustration and uh, examples to the speech. Some creative type of language used. So why authors use this figures of speech? We the readers, easily we can understand. Authors try to help the readers to understand the story to paint the pictures and images in their mind of the reader. So there are some of the figures of speech here mentioned are simile, metaphor, and personification. In poetry, they are used to express powerful feelings or strong, clear images in the mind. The poet uses his creativity in expressing different moods and uh, originality and natural way of describing in poetry. It's a type of creative where very suitable words are used. Mainly, they add beauty to the language and add an effect to language. That is what figures of speech. There are 31 figures of speech children in higher classes you learn. But as per your syllabus, you need to learn only simile, metaphor, and personification. Just first three are enough. So here we learn the simile. Simile is nothing but a figure of speech used in comparison made between two objects of different kinds, using the words like and as. So there are examples. See, he wrote like a lion. The two comparisons made here between he and a lion. The comparison is between the person and the lion. How he wrote? Like a lion. So we use the word like. Next, Mina looks as cheerful as a rose. How Mina looks? Cheerful means joyful. It is compared to a rose. So comparison is done between Mina and a rose by using the word as. Third example, I learned to swim like a fish. How I learned to swim like a fish? Comparison is done between a person I and a fish. Next, the story is as old as the hills. These are very old. The story is compared with the hills using the word as. Last, see the pictures of eyes of eagle. Her eyes were as keen as an eagle's. How were the eyes compared? Her eyes are compared with that of eagles. See, once again, you just listen, take the screenshots of all these examples and jot down in your classwork notebook children. So, simile is nothing but comparison of sentence between any two objects using the word like and as. Very simple to remember. Okay, next. Metaphor. 
metaphor is also a figure of speech used to compare a fun thing with the another without using the words like or as in simile we use words like or as whereas in metaphor without using we never use like or as words but it's a comparison between two objects see some examples ministers are the pillars of the state see pillars are very essential and they are strong support to the building similarly ministers are strong support to the state for governing people so ministers are compared with the pillars but we didn't use any words like or as next the ship plows the sea plowing you know farmers plow the field tilling the land upside down to sow the seeds see you can see the picture here ship is gushing through water like plowing so ship is compared to plow comparison is done but no words like or as next you know camels travel in the desert effortlessly it is compared to the ship ship travels on the oceans and in seas so camel is compared to the ship but there are no words like or as and we just skip to the last example life is a box of chocolates life is compared to box of chocolates means it's a shot like it means the life is very short once you see the chocolates finish you just gulp off finish you exhaust eating So life is compared to a box of chocolates. So I hope you understood what is metaphor. Okay. Now, third figure of speech is personification. Personification means nothing but treating the objects having without life, giving the qualities of human being. That means see the examples. The hills rejoice and clap their hands. Look, students. can the hills rejoice or can they be happy are they living things no can they clap their hands no but we are treating the hills like persons treating the hills like persons giving them qualities of human being so the hills are personified the sentence comes under personification the sun sank into the ocean in all his glory his glory talks about the sun and is not a person to treat like addressing sun as his or him or he but we are giving qualities of human being okay so this is a personification the trees invited us to come and play can the trees invite us no but we are treating the trees as persons giving them the qualities of human being as if they are inviting us so this sentence comes under personification the streets are calling me see the picture of streets they don't have life they are not human beings to call us but we are treating them giving the human qualities they are calling me that means we are personifying the streets it comes under personification see the picture the chocolate ice cream tempted me so on hope you understood personification children so here is the screen of assignment you just take the screenshot and copy down all the sentences related to assignment of a figure of speech figures of speech and note down and answer them immediately there are seven sentences to do just identify which parts of mean figures of speech it comes under okay hope you all have understood well score good marks once again you revise before exams and get good marks best of luck all the best children thank you